my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on formal languages and automata theory this is lecture number 1 we will try to understand different applications of formal languages and automata theory this is useful in understanding subjects like artificial intelligence embedded systems compilers interpreters pattern matching operating systems like unix linux protocols like tcp ip spell checkers sequential circuits natural language processing for finding virus we can make use this subject in search engines like google search in digital libraries search and replace application this particular application is available in different editors in order to identify spam mails otherwise i can say junk mails malware i can say it is harmful software in understanding this malware spam mails search engines like this there are uh, different applications of formal language and automata theory these are few applications now we will try to understand what is formal language formal language consists of words whose letters are taken from an alphabet what is alphabet we will try to understand few seconds and are well formed well formed according to specific set of rules in simple manner i can say by using this set of rules i can say whether particular word or string is part of that language or not these languages are known as formal languages automata theory automata theory is study of abstract machine abstract machine in the sense here machine in the sense computer abstract machine in the sense abstract computer what is abstract computer it is a theoretical model of real computer this subject automata theory is useful in understanding theoretical computers or theoretical model of a computer or abstract machine and automata we will try to understand what is automata in future classes time being just understand automata theory is useful which type of problems a machine can solve which type of problems a machine can solve or a machine cannot solve this is a subject which is useful for understanding devices or machines or computers or abstract machines which can solve problems what type of problems these machines can solve what type of problems they cannot solve now we will try to uh, introduce the subject what is alphabet alphabet is denoted by sigma this is notation it is uh, denoted by sigma and is defined as non empty finite set of symbols just say this symbol this, this set set of 0 comma 1 this is 0 is a symbol 1 is a symbol this set is non empty set therefore it can be treated as an alphabet this is also a set a comma b a is a symbol b is a symbol this set is non empty finite set of symbols therefore it is also an alphabet 0 comma 1 comma a comma b this is also a non empty finite set of symbols therefore this can be treated as an alphabet capital a capital b means capital a to capital z small a to small z this can be treated as treated as uh, alphabet of an english language small a to small z capital a to capital z 0 to 9 left floor bracket right floor bracket left parenthesis right parenthesis This, this this is an alphabet of c language isn't it therefore what is alphabet alphabet is non empty finite set of symbols for example if i say natural number set what is my natural number set 1 comma 2 comma 3 this cannot be an alphabet even though it is a non empty set but it is an infinite set alphabet must be a non empty finite set natural numbers cannot be an alphabet alphabet means you must understand it is a non empty finite set of symbols what is string string means sequence of symbols from some alphabet 
For example, sigma equal to 0, 1. This is an alphabet. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is a string from, from this particular alphabet. What is the length of the string? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 symbols. Therefore, length of this particular string is 6. Even you can form different strings from this particular alphabet. I can say 0, 0. It is a string from this particular alphabet whose length is 2. 1, 1. It is also a string from this particular alphabet whose length is 2. 1, 0, 1. It is also a string from this particular alphabet. Therefore, this is also a string whose length is 3. If I say 1, A, B, this cannot be this cannot be an alphabet. Why? Because A, B are not available in alphabet. Therefore, it cannot be a string related to this alphabet. Let me discuss one more example. Let our alphabet is small a to small z. Let me say Rajashekar. It is a string from this particular alphabet. If I count number of characters in this, in this name, there are 9 letters. Therefore, length of this particular string is 9. VNR, this is also a string from this particular alphabet. Uh, therefore, its string length is 3. Yes. Yes. Empty string or null string. Empty string means it, it is denoted by epsilon. Empty string is denoted by epsilon. From here onwards, wherever this epsilon appears, you must understand that is an empty string. It is defined as a string with no occurrence of symbols. If there are no symbols, then its length is obviously its length is 0. Therefore, mod of epsilon equal string. Mod of epsilon equal to 0. I can say empty string is a string whose length is 0. Finite automata. Finite automata consists of finite number of states and transitions from state to state on input symbols from some alphabet. I can say this sigma is input alphabet. FA in the sense finite automata starts usually from a state known as initial state and is denoted by Q0. Some states in finite automata designated as final or accepting states. This is, this is if I say something like arrow and Q0, this is initial state. If I keep something in double quotes, that is, this is known as final state. Transition, di transition diagram is a directed graph in which vertices or nodes are known as states. Now, we will try to understand what is DFA. DFA means deterministic finite automata. DFA, it is a quintuple. Quintuple in the sense phi tuple. Capital M of Q comma, sigma comma, delta comma q naught comma f 1 2 3 4 5 what is this capital q capital q means set of states sigma means set of input symbols delta is q cross sigma to q this delta is known as transition function q naught is initial state f is set of all final states therefore your f must be subset or equal to q for example this is DFA. This, trans this is known as uh, a transition diagram. There are four states Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. What is capital Q? Capital Q means set of states. What are the states here? Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. This is capital Q. What is sigma? Sigma means set of input symbols, means input alphabet. What are the inputs for the states? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Therefore, your sigma is 0, 1. Delta is a transition function Q cross sigma to Q means Q naught on 0. Where will it go? Q naught on 0 is going to Q1. Therefore, delta Q naught on 0 equal to Q1. Delta Q naught on 1, it is Q3. Therefore, delta Q naught on 1, Q3. Therefore, if I keep uh, input symbol to the, if I feed input symbols to the state, the transition reaches from one state to other state. Sometimes it may remain in the same state. This double circle state, this is one double circle state, this is another double circle state. Q1 is double circle state, Q3 is also double circle state. Therefore, this capital F equal to, capital F means what? Set of all final states. F is final states. Q0 is initial state. As it is, there is an arrow like this, this is initial state. Means, this can be treated as DFA, deterministic finite automata. Why? Because it has got this 
क्विंटपल क्यू कामा सिग्मा कामा डेल्टा कामा क्यू नाट कामा यफ एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ स्ट्रिंग बाय फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा व्हेन कैन आई से पर्टिकुलर फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा एक्सेप्ट स्ट्रिंग ए स्ट्रिंग एक्स इज एक्सेप्टेड बाय फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा इफ द सीक्वेंस ऑफ इफ द सीक्वेंस ऑफ ट्रांजिशन करस्पॉन्डिंग टू सिंबल्स ऑफ एक्स leads from starting state to final states i think this uh, if the sequence if the sequence it is repeated i think i can remove this one yes now a string x is accepted by finite automata if the sequence of transitions corresponding to symbols of x leads from starting state to starting state of finite automata to some final state in simple manner i can say a string x is accepted by finite automata if this x is fit to the initial state of the final automata finite automata after reading this entire string you must be in some final state what is this p p is in f it must it must be somewhere some some somewhere in f f means f is set of all final states now we will try to understand this one let me consider this finite automata arrow means what this is initial state double circle means it's a final state it is a finite automata where initial state and final state are same if i draw a vertical line like this 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 line is crossing vertical line this line is also crossing vertical line this transition is also crossing vertical line this transition is also crossing this vertical line while crossing this vertical lines we are giving input 1 if i draw a horizontal line like this these transitions are crossing horizontal line while crossing horizontal line this this transitions taking input 0 for for vertical line for vertical line they are taking input 1 for horizontal line transition these are inputs 0 and uh, q0 is initial state as well as final state this is known as transition diagram this is known as transition table q0 q1 q2 q3 q0 is initial state and q0 is also final state q0 on 0 you are going to q3 just see q0 on 0 q3 q0 on 1 q0 on 1 means q1 just q0 on 1 means q1 q1 on 0 where is my q1 q1 on 0 means q2 like this this transition table can be from, formed by using this transition diagram now let me check what type of strings this finite automata can act can accept let me feed two zeros two zeros in the sense even number of zeros how can i check this string must be feed to the initial state of finite automata that is q0 delta of q0 on 0 0 i must feed this zero first delta of q0 on 0 after feeding this i must left with one more zero this is the other zero delta q0 on 0 delta q0 on 0 means q3 that's what i am writing here delta q3 on 0 what is my q3 on 0 q3 on 0 means q0 after reading this string we where we are we are at the state q0 therefore it is a since it is a final state this this string is accepted by this particular this string in the sense this double zero string is accepted by this finite automata if i feed one more zero i must keep q0 to zero what is q0 on 0 q3 means if i keep one more zero after two zeros it is reach, reaching to q0 if i keep one more zero q0 on zero q0 on zero means q3 therefore if i keep three zeros this for this uh, this particular finite automata cannot accept this finite automata accepts even number of zeros but it cannot accept odd number of zeros let me feed one 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 in the sense even number of ones q0 on one i must left with one more one what is q0 on one q0 on 1 means q1 this is q1 q1 on 1 what is q1 on 1 q1 on 1 is q0 as q0 is final state after reading this string 1 1 we are at q0 since it is a final state this even number of ones is accepted by this finite automata if i feed one more one q0 on 1 q0 on 1 means where will you go you will go to q1 this is since it is not final state this finite automata cannot accept odd number of ones this finite automata accepts even number of zeros even number of ones it cannot accept odd number of zeros odd number of ones even you can check it can accept even number of zeros and even number of ones thank you very much in our next lecture that is in lecture 2 we will try to design different finite automatas means 
we will try to understand problems related to finite automata. Thank you very much.